Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. It looks like there's been another heist of a different kind of precious metal this time. This is very interesting. $300,000 worth of precious metal in a heist on a South Carolina river. This happened about a month ago and was brought to my attention by Kalonic Stacker. Yeah, so thank you, Kalonic Stacker. This comes to us from the Post and Courier. Uh, experienced thieves. They steal 300 grand worth of precious metal in an overnight heist on a South Carolina river. And uh, the moon was nearly full that July night. You know, they should have said it was a silvery moon. As a pair of thieves slipped along a darkened river, home to alligators, eagles, and a handful of homes that sit near the water. The bandits' faces, arms, and legs were concealed as they headed towards a chemical plant. The duo had to know the river, not just its bends and curves, but its tides. A novice could easily ground the boat's hull. Surveillance video caught the pair as they came ashore from the Sandpit River west of Georgetown. The burglars knew what they were after as well. Within an hour, they found four 100-pound drums filled with a silvery white substance almost as valuable as gold. Actually, right now, it's more valuable than gold. <clears throat> By 1 a.m., they had returned to the waterway and retreated back into the darkness with the illicit hall containing about $300,000 worth of the precious metal. Officials of the chemical plant reported the brazen heist five days later. It's palladium, the substance found in the drums. is not uncommon, but the method of doing so is usually quite different. English chemist William Hyde Wollaston is credited with discovering the metal in 1803, a century before mass production of the Ford Model T. Palladium and gas-powered vehicles became intertwined in the 1970s as efforts to reduce exhaust emissions increased. The metal's ability to absorb hydrogen makes it a useful tool in this effort. Catalytic converters, large coffee can sized tubes that connect to an exhaust system often contain the metal for that purpose. The Environmental Protection Agency calls the device one of the great environmental inventions of all time. The desirable metal is largely found in mines in Russia and South Africa, which is a top supplier to the United States. The Stillwater Mine in Montana is where palladium is primarily found domestically. There are roughly 305 metric tons of platinum and palladium, which are usually found together, have been mined from there since 1986. Greater demand for the metal has led to increased cost. Earlier this year, Investors briefly made palladium more valuable than gold, and it's there again. As of Friday, gold had jumped ahead, but not by much. And of course, this is an older article, a month old now. Just like any other precious metal, when the prices go up, the interest in it goes up as well, said Corby Anderson, a professor at Colorado School of Mines. Its value has invited the interest of these as reports of stolen catalytic converters regularly make headlines in news outlets across the globe. This month, a Philadelphia television station reported that one person's van was stripped of the palladium-laden device by a group of thieves. It was the second time the person's car was vandalized for the converter, according to the report. Also this month, in Oxford, England, thieves targeted vehicles at parking rides. And in Berkeley, California, converters from dozens of vehicles were stolen in recent weeks. While there's a market for catalytic converters, the Georgetown palladium thieves may have difficulties if they're trying to unload their haul. I have no idea how they're going to sell that, said Michael George, a mineral commodity specialist with the United States Geological Survey. You couldn't go to a scrap dealer. Marshall, marshland trees and abandoned rice fields run along the Sandpit River, one of four major waterways that drain into Winyai Bay. The chemical plant where the theft occurred is owned by 3V Group and is a few miles inland from the bay. The further inland you go, the more narrow it gets. Founded in Italy, 
The company's United States operations began in 1978 with a 65-acre plot in Georgetown. 3V manufactures, produces engineers, chemicals, according to its website. The Reverend Sandra Ladson, an organizer of the group Save the Sand Pit, said that a person would need to know the river's shallow points in the tide before navigating to the chemical plant. The tide was rising at the time of the theft. The price, vice president of management for the plant and a spokesman from the Georgetown County Sheriff's Office both declined to release details of the theft beyond what it included a fair few paragraphs of a police incident report. It occurred on the morning of July the 13th, so almost a month before this article was written, or over a month before the article was written. As of Friday, it remains unsolved. Ron Russell, Gator uh, of Gator Getter Consultant, said he's taken his 20-foot aluminum boat to go gator hunting on the river before. Somebody had to know the stuff, know that stuff was there to begin with. Russell said of the Palladium, and no doubt they had been up there prior to that night. It had to be pre-planned. But my question is, is what form, if it was in barrels, uh, you know, how was it, how, what form was it in? <clears throat> it's, uh, it's very interesting. I, I, I find it unusual that it would be stored in drums or barrels. Um, uh, it says it's, it's not uncommon for them to be found in those drums. But was it solid? I don't know. But uh, selling it will be interesting. But I guess if they can melt it down and reconstitute it somehow, some way. But they probably have to go far away from here because I'm sure the alert is out. Palladium is such a rare metal. It would be quite unusual for um, it to be sold in any form. uh, And, um, you know, or anywhere like that. um, Because it's mainly an industrial metal. It is more valuable than gold now. But very interesting indeed. And just because to show you. How palladium is making news now, uh, and with this particular <clears throat> sense, it is um, it is becoming uh, something beyond just stealing catalytic converters to get the metal. Now they're going big time, going into these chemical plants. Very interesting. Thanks again to Colonic Stacker for sending this along to me. Would like to extend a multitude of gratitude, y'all, for watching. And encourage you to watch after this video is over for an epic blooper reel. Yes, indeed, it is. No, it's not all that. It's not really worth watching. But I'm going to put it in there anyway, just because I kind of liked what happened at the end. It's, it made me feel a lot better after it had occurred. You'll see what I'm talking about. Don't be allergic to palladium. I hope you're not. I don't think I am. But you might think I was allergic to this article after after you see that blooper reel. A multitude of gratitude, y'all, for watching. And I encourage you to please rate, share, click on that bell, comment, and subscribe. Anything else? Nope, I think that's it. <music> Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Another heist. Thievery is occurring now. And it looks like it's it's spread to a new metal. Two, 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 two